And just as to the uh, inauguration of the governor-elect of Cross River State, Senator Prince Basi Edede II, the weekend has envisaged quite a lot of influx, a number of hotels have been fully booked, getting ready for tomorrow at the UJS Wednesday Stadium. And we have joined us some Cross Riverians that are making exploit outside the shores of Cross River State. And indeed, it's a moment that I'm going to introduce this gentleman that uh, flew in all the way from other parts of the world to take part uh, in tomorrow's inauguration. However, there's going to be an inauguration after tomorrow's inauguration. We'll get to talk about that. But let me introduce some cross variants in the diaspora. I have Ignatius Oli. He is the general secretary elect. Uh, good evening and so good to have you join us, Ignatius. Thank you so much, mm -hmm. Joseph. It's good to be here. And uh, we also have Augustine OB, he is a project coordinator elect. Good evening. Good to have you join us. Good evening. Uh, good evening, cross variants. I'm very happy to be home. Yeah, and we have a member of that group, Ojong Mbe. Ojong, good evening. Welcome on board. Thank you mm -hmm. for having me. Okay, let's quickly start by asking IG. Let me start with you. Let's get to understand uh, cross variants in the diaspora. When we say, what do we, what picture are we looking at? You're looking at mm -hmm. uh, the picture of all cross variants mm -hmm. that are in the diaspora. Mm -hmm. You know, cross variants that have um, left the shores of um, Cross River State, uh, either to study or to work and are now living um, in the diaspora. So our organization is an organization that encompasses every cross variant that um, is living in the diaspora and uh, uh, who are now uh, members you know, of um, our community. Okay, Okay. so Augustine, let's get the file out from you. You, you are based in the UK. Yeah. Uh, how is it around the cross variants there? In UK, let's look at cross variants in the diaspora in UK. He talks from the Germany aspect of it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, you see, cross variants. Uh, I mean, I was a bit surprised when it got to the point where we're collating contacts, and I discovered that even behind my street, a cross variant is staying there. You know, so. Um, there are quite a lot of cross variants in the UK. UK is a very large, you know, um, country. So we, thankfully, we we've been able to meet ourselves, you know, through utilizing things like WhatsApp, you know, and the rest of them, Facebook. So we we've got a very good number, and um, we're trying to, you know, get more people involved because we know there are a lot of a lot more out there. Mm -hmm that needs to be contacted, so we are working on that. Great. Okay, now let me bring in Ojo. Ojo's case is quite different because he is based in Japan. And I'm very sure before you leave, you'll teach us how to say good evening. <laughs> how to say that, you know, what we feel, okay, we have cross variants in UK, USA, Germany, but Japan. That means it's quite huge for, for you being there in Japan. Talk to us about, give us your experience uh, there. Yeah, I mean, I get that a lot because um, Africans, of course, have a stronger affinity with mm. the Europeans, mm. maybe because of colonization. So culturally, there's a lot of uh, coherence there. Like for the UK, you don't have a problem with assimilation. You speak English, yeah? Mm speak English there. So with Japan is beautiful because almost all of us who are from Cross River um, that are there most likely uh, went as students or scholars. Mine, uh, the same case as well. So it's a beautiful um, opportunity that we go there for maybe academic and knowledge gain. We learn the language and uh, then we grow and we even bond. So normally our numbers it's of course fewer compared to uh, cross variants or Nigerians even in the UK, in Germany, in Europe. And so there's a closer bond there. Mm -hmm. And um, this is a very beautiful opportunity to talk about our experience there and see how much we can bring back uh, to our state. Absolutely. Uh, let me get back to uh, Ignatius. Uh, before we, you know, let's just talk a little bit about our cultural heritage, the food you eat there. Do you miss some stuff in, from Cross River State? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I mean, uh, home is home, mm. right, Joseph? Mm. And uh, no, no matter what you eat out there, you're still going to miss um, 
all of the food that we have uh, at home. Mm. Uh, Crescent Valley is really blessed, right? So yeah, when you yeah. look at the eggman cuckoo, or when you look <laughs> at um, the afang soup, you know, when and uh, the real gary, mm. yeah. the gary we have out there is not, uh, it's not like the gary that is here. Mm. You know, the gary that is produced from um, our mothers, from um, uh, right from the farm. You know, all of those processes that are followed. But what we have um, out there are like imported mm. um, products um, that are brought and it doesn't really feel uh, mm. like like home. So yes, um, Joseph, we um, personally, I miss uh, a whole lot of um, the food that uh, we have uh, uh, mm. there. But then again, you have um, Afro shops. So uh, you have the Pakistani, you have the Indians. Um, not the Africans though, you know, so <laughs> you have more of these persons uh, who import um, some um, agro products into the country and uh, sometimes you just walk in and um, buy some, you know, to have that feel of um, home. Mm. Yes. I'm, I'm sure it will be very expensive for the imported stuff. Yeah. Okay, awesome, talk to us, share your experience. Yeah, so uh, talking about the food, you know, um, I mean, I just flew into Calabar like two hours ago mm -hmm. and um, I had to fly straight the first person I called was my mom <laughs> um, before I came in I said you know I need that fresh afan yeah. with enough you know <laughs> so I went straight to you know home had a feel of afan and you can see I'm sure those who saw me um, three hours ago will tell that there's a difference because Absolutely. the afang is radiating in me you know <laughs> so these are some of the things we miss and the difference is that you know over there we we kind of buy frozen afang mm -hmm. frozen water leaf i'm sure those are strange things yeah. here like you tell someone yeah. you frozen afang you know so um we miss we miss those uh, sort of things a lot you know um just like uh Ignatius said uh, we buy those things from, you know, unfortunately, Pakistanis are some of the guys who are the major, I don't know, maybe some importers or suppliers, suppliers yeah. which is uh, interesting to me, though. So I see an opportunity there for you know, those who are business oriented, you know, because to be honest, most the word out there is that people want to have one of you home, they want to eat our food, we don't want to eat junks, mm -hmm. and we want to also get our kids to get used to our food not the mcdonald's of this world and you know so that's something that uh, we really miss and I, for me i don't mind taking a fan from now till i leave the country <laughs> <laughs> okay Audrey, let me bring you in uh, let me bring you back i think uh, for, for, for the uk that's the that yours will be a, a bit extreme talk to us yeah, 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 yeah. But, i mean everything that flies i mean the flights about seven hours to the uk or germany eight hours but ours is 23 hours mm. and you need to even have two pit stops and all of those things so yeah. the food is um um, Pakistani Bangladeshi mm -hmm. we normally call them halal shops mm -hmm. uh, really um, and so yes you've never heard of frozen afang before mm -hmm. frozen egusi and mm -hmm. the obono is a little bit um, it mm -hmm. might not become sticky mm -hmm. you understand mm -hmm. but we try and uh, then we have substitutes um, lots of our East African brothers too mm -hmm. Their meals, they have something called cornstarch. They call it ukali. Yeah. Ugali, yeah. Ugali. So ugali. you can just call it ukali, or the Rwandans will call it ugali. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so if we might not have gari, we might manage theirs. Mm. And so it helps for a little bit of intercultural relationship yeah. as well. Mm. Um, Nigeria is very popular. We are a big contemporary cultural influence in Africa because yeah. of Nollywood and everything. So they will want to try gari as well. So the Bangladeshi, the Pakistani. They have some of our things that other Africans share, so yeah. it's, uh, mm. it's a good feel. Great, great. Okay, uh, uh, let me say again, welcome home. Thank mm. you very much. Okay, IG, let, let's look at the Cross River uh, Cross Rivers in the diaspora. How were you able to connect? You're based in Germany. Mm -hmm. Austin is in UK, while OJ is in mm -hmm. Japan. Mm -hmm. How were you able to connect? You, you are the Secretary General, so you're the scrap, so you elect. Yeah. <laughs> so talk to us. How were you able to network all of these guys together? Uh, thank you so much um, for this question, Joseph. I think uh, every journey um, starts with a step, right? So um, first, you need someone who would be the visioner, someone who would conceive of um, such a vision that um, we need to connect with all cross variants that are um, in the diaspora, perhaps because of um, certain things uh, that may have played out. Um, in our instance, 
uh, it was COVID-19 that um, became the leveler, you know. So mm. during that period, um, everybody was at home and uh, there was so much um, happening, uh, ranging from uh, vaccine diplomacy, vaccine nationalism, where um, the global um, West uh, had to keep all of the vaccines uh, on their own country. And when people from the global South buy, um, they do not have the vaccine, but um, then if they have to um, buy again, then they pay for it, you know, because of the price hike and all of that. And then um, some of us sat back, you know, to say, um, how can we really harness all of our expertise, you know, and begin to drum beats um, to um, talk about these challenges that uh, people in the global south um, um, faces. And like they say, charity begins at home, you know, so we're like, okay, then if we can, uh, if we want to do that at a larger scale, let's first start from connecting all perseverance um, that are there. And uh, um, as the vision, uh, um, what I did was to first of all connect the ones that I know personally that are in the diaspora, and then um, and do them. Uh, perhaps we should connect with other perseverance. So we just created um, a toolbox, uh, a toolkit, and say, okay, we're going to do A, B, C, D. Um, and once we follow through that process, uh, all of uh, persons that are joining from one person to the other person to the other person. And right now we have, I think, 179 and counting. Um, uh, yeah, 179 experts, you know, doing amazing things um, um, in the group. Yeah. Great. Uh, hopefully, before you leave, I'll add more names. I'll give you some more numbers. I'll give you some more numbers. Thank you. Okay, now, now uh, Augustine, you are the project coordinator elect yeah. of this uh, organization. Yeah. Let's look at the inauguration that is coming up on the 10th next month. Yeah. I'd love to talk to Rosa and how do we intend to expand more to accommodate other cross variants in the diaspora? Okay, um, thank you for that question. Uh, I think that's the main one of the main reasons why we're here mm -hmm. today. Um, unfortunately, that's not my capacity as the PRO, but I'm going to try. Okay. I'm going to try. Jumping, yeah. <laughs> so, um, from the little I know, I th I think it's going to be um, an interesting event. You know, we are looking forward to a very robust event. Um, invitations are currently being sent out. Um, the the invitees are not necessarily those who reside in the diaspora. Um, we are also inviting perseverance, you know, in different industries, you know, like industrial leaders uh, and other leaders, you know, political leaders too, to attend because it's going to be virtual. It's not like um, a physical, physical thing. thing. Yeah. yeah. So uh, it might again sound strange to some people, but that's the way to go. Yeah, Most things are done virtually because we are reside all over the world, mm -hmm. and um, we can all come together. In, you know, it takes a lot of logistical arrangement to achieve that. So, to, in order to make it easier, so we decided to make it um, virtual, and um, we're trying to get as much as we can those who reside in the diaspora. Um, from the level of the ESCO elect, we're up, we're pushing, you know, to get more people to attend that event, which is going to be very interesting. Absolutely. Yeah. IG, you want to jump in as well? Yes, I think, um, uh, as Austin mentioned, the uh, event is going to be um, very robust uh, and a lot of activities um, uh, have been planned. Um, the vision that we have you know, for, for Cross River State and how we want to support the incoming um, administration. All of that will be unveiled on, uh, for, by our president elect, uh, Comrade uh, Christopher Lecam, uh, on, on the tent, and uh, all the amazing members of um, the executive. So, yes, we're really, really looking forward to, to being inaugurated to the tent and bringing um, all of our expertise to support. The, current government of today in cross river state absolutely okay oj let, let, is there going to be a link for those that would love to uh, be a part of this uh, visual meeting uh, yes i believe it's uh, have already been uh, created okay and i uh, it will come with a follow-up uh, invitation card 
so mm -hmm. people could connect via Zoom, mm -hmm. and um, and it's important that people know ahead of time because of course time different issues so that you put the date on it, you schedule it. Okay. So it will be we love for everyone uh, to attend um, because uh, at the heart of everything is cross river that matters. Oh yeah. great, absolutely, I love that. So it's, just to it's add, cross river that matters. Okay. Yeah, just to add that. Um, we're trying to disseminate the information across, you know, major uh, media houses and blogs in the state. You know, um, prior to that time, I'm sure the 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 yeah, link will be yeah, out and all that. Yeah. Great. So again, cross us CRBC being the mother mm. media house, Absolutely. you know, can mm. also propagate that. Absolutely, us. we, we assure you of that. Okay, uh, describe. Let me come back to you now. Let the you tenth, like, the yeah, like. at, <laughs> let, let's look at the, that inauguration on the tenth. How would that help promote uh, the cause of cross variants for that, both in the diaspora and those within the states? Uh, thank you so much uh, once again, Joseph. I don't know if you remember um, the uh, early days of Governor um, Donald Duke and uh, how cross river state used to be uh, in the front burner, and when you tune in to CNN, whether you're living in Japan or you tune in to CNN International, you will see Cross River, you will see the Obudu, um, Kato Ranch, you will see um, the longest uh, flag, you know, of um, uh, Cross River State, right there on CNN, you know, giving it that um, a global um, 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 outlook. But over the years, right, uh, there's been that um, shortfall gap in um, uh, promoting uh, a cross river state, um, our culture, and that is why uh, we've decided to come together as um, professionals doing amazing things in uh, our various um, areas, you know, to promote cross river state. So, um, for example, we have uh, an expo in uh, uh, Oslo, um, same next month, and we're going to be talking about cross riverians in the diaspora. Um, uh, in this expo, but if you do not have an organized um, group, yeah. an umbrella, yeah, so if you cannot uh, promote um, um, cross river state. So, with uh, all of the expertise that um, we've um, galvanized, we're going to look at uh, where does the expertise of cross riverians in the diaspora meet uh, the shortfalls, the gap in the governance processes of cross river and, and state. Uh, Austin seated by me here is a health um, practitioner. He's an expert in healthcare design uh, and all of that. Myself, um, I'm an expert in uh, electoral matters and, and curriculum design when it comes to education project management. And you have tons of professors, you know, that uh, in our midst, engineers, um, ICT experts, and when you look around on um, Cross River State, uh, there's a lot that we can harness all of this expertise, you know, to um, help government democ truly democratize its institutional processes. And that's what we bring. That's the value of this organization uh, to not just to us in the diaspora, but to um, Cross River and Cross Riverians. You know? So if you're a small business and you want to know um, how to take your product, you know, to expand your product to um, the global north. You can come to Cross Riverians in the diaspora because we have individuals in the group who do reverse market entry, you know, and uh, these individuals can um, give you highlights. If you're a student and you want to study uh, and you do not know how to navigate the entire process by looking for scholarship, you cannot afford the high price of schools. You know, you can't come to um, the likes of Austin, they are project managers and um, they will do all of that. Uh, in our group, um, we're also talking about how we can repurpose and remodel the Cross River State Library, um, for example, as um, part of our support. You know? So there's a whole lot, there's a whole lot just that um, uh, this group brings to um, um, Cross Riverians. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. Also, let, let's get to find out. You are in Calabar here basically as well for the inauguration which is yeah. coming up in a few hours from yeah. now and you've been out of the country for a while. How does it feel to be back and to attend the inauguration tomorrow as a cross Riverian? Okay, so um, first of all I need to say that I was born in Cross River. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I schooled in Cross River, primary, secondary, university, 
So uh, it's what the ethic people say, I'm an song. Okay. You know, so um, I'm very happy to be home, to be honest. Um, just that my, my, my stay is very short. How I wish I could, you know, I had the capacity to make it like a month. I wouldn't, you know, uh, take a second chance to eat. So I feel where I feel at home, you know, like, you know, there's a difference between you being in a foreign land and being at home, you know, you know where you have people who understand your culture, who understand your language, yeah. whom you eat the same food and stuff. So it's something I look forward to, you know. So home is home, you know, for me. Yeah. Okay, let's, let's also share your thoughts, get your thoughts on that. Uh, um, wonderful idea um, to come and uh, maybe witness the, the inauguration, the, uh, a new government, a new administration. Yeah. Um, like uh, what well, some things we share amongst ourselves, Nigerians, there is coming back here, you miss the experience of hugs. <laughs> yeah. you know, because, like in Japan, all we do is bow. Mm -hmm. You wanted to learn a thing, Konnichiwa, you understand. <laughs> okay. oh, hi, Konnichiwa. So, we all we do, we bow, we don't, we hardly shake, we hardly touch. Okay. So, coming back and having the hug and everything mm -hmm. uh, is, is beautiful. So, there's, um, there's a new there's an enthusiasm, um, mm -hmm. uh, a sense of uh, curiosity, but very positive enthusiasm about a new government. So mm -hmm. uh, we're happy about it and we, we look forward to um, greater and uh, a lot more better days ahead. Great. Okay. IG, uh, let's look at the expectations you know, for the incoming uh, administration. Yes. Uh, for those Cross Riverans residing here in Cross River and those of you that are outside. Um, for us in the diaspora, I think uh, what we expect from um, the incoming administration will be to build trust. To build trust um, uh, between um, us uh, in the diaspora and for perseverance generally. Because trust is uh, something that is really very essential yeah. um, when it comes to governance um, processes. Uh, so much happens in governance that is shrouded in secrecy. And there's um, very little information about um, what is actually um, 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 happening, you know, in terms of uh, the policies of um, government, uh, in terms of um, the infrastructures that are being provided by um, uh, government. So we would expect this uh, government to build trust and i think there are about seven ways in which um government can start by um, um, yeah, um doing this so it's to ensure transparency to ensure that um, government is honest you know, in, in in its uh, communication see when you communicate your programs you have to communicate them um, um honestly you know you need to have empathy um, for your people you need to uh, deliver on your campaign promises. So you promised A, B, C, D. You have to deliver on, on, on those processes. You have to ensure that um, citizens also uh, participate in uh, the entire um, um, process. So it should be, initiatives should be citizen-led. You know, citizens should be engaged um, you know, back and forth. And more importantly, um, we need to have an accountable um, process. You see. So government should hold itself uh, accountable um, for its choices. Every choice, every policy that it makes, you know, government should um, be accountable um, towards this. It should not blame past administrations, but mm -hmm. hold itself um, responsible and accountable for all of um, its uh, decisions. Mm -hmm. So this is the first thing um, that we uh, in the diaspora would um, expect. And I think for perseverance here, they would expect um, that uh, the current administration would recruit competent individuals to man um, the affairs of um, government, to support um, um, the governance uh, uh, processes. You know, Crossoverians expect a design thinking approach to government processes. So there's a, a huge challenge in healthcare delivery. How do you solve this um, challenge? There are lots of potholes um, around. How do you enforce uh, um, 
mm -hmm. laws, you know, fill up all of that and make it in a sustainable um, um, manner. Um, manner. So mm -hmm. generally, um, perseverance mm -hmm. expect that uh, the dividends of democracy uh, are um, given to them, you know, to improve their livelihood. So I think this is what perseverance would expect. Absolutely. So much. Great, great. Okay, Augusto, uh, yeah. as you want to, you know, you are the project coordinator elect and uh, you are doing great outside there the three of you and more across regions let's look at the, the, your your expertise how would you love to bring it on board to assist the government the incoming government talk to us because there are lots to be done uh, the outgoing governor used to say something about other people's money intellectual money and all of that but how can we have diasporans come on board to assist the incoming government okay I, th I think it is important for us to highlight the fact that we are more like a, a non-governmental organization mm -hmm. so to speak yeah. and uh, you know how you know the modus operandi of an NGO um, you see these things that we want to roll out 